Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different kind of video. I feel like I always start my videos off with that. Today I'm going to start with something a little bit different. I like trying different things, okay? But today I'm going to be doing a Pinter test, and I've seen this a lot around YouTube, but it's honestly true. I am a complete failure when it comes to trying things on Pinterest. It just never works. But I thought that I would start recording my failures and putting it up on YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a Pinter test and I'm going to be doing nail polish mugs or whatever where you dip, I'll insert a picture somewhere here of the actual pin that I found. Where you dip the white mug into the nail polish water solution and it makes a cool like marble effect. If you like this new like series video thing, um, give this video a thumbs up so I know. So, yes, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, you guys, so I have my tools here that it says that I need. Um, I have a tin that I can easily throw away. I got from the Dollar Tree. I got um, the nail polish I want it to be in. If anyone actually just wants to know what this nail polish is because they like the color. It is Bahama Mama. So there you go. And then I have a white mug that I got from Target. And then I needed a toothpick but I only got a bobby pin so that's what we're going to work with. First things first, I need to fill this up as high as I want the design to go on my cup. Um, with warm water. Okay you guys, so my thing is filled with some water. I put in my cup beforehand and to see like how much I wanted. So this is a good amount for me. The next thing I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to take this nail polish and I'm supposed to just drip it in there and like kind of make a marbly effect. So here we go. I'm just gonna pour some. Oh, that is cool. There we go. And then I'm just supposed to like move it around like according to, she said not to overdo it. Now you're supposed to just dip it in. I need to like leave it in for a sec. Ooh. Oh, why does it look like that? Okay, I guess you just take this off. It looks cool. It's kind of like coming off in certain areas. Let me refer back to the pin to figure out what I'm supposed to do with this. Okay, you guys, so um, the pin said that I had to wait overnight to let this dry. But, gr oh. but girl, ain't nobody got time for that. So um, I'm going to try to blow dry it dry, and then maybe it will work. I don't know if this pin's actually going to work. I'm sure I did something wrong, but I think it still looks pretty cool, except for this one part that has like this weird patch over here. Like, what the heck, what the heck is that? Anyways, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool for like what it is, but I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it dry and see what happens. Hey guys, so this is how mine turned out. It's pretty much dry now. Um, this little spot's a little weird, but I think this is actually pretty cool. It's not exactly like the pin, um, but I think it looks really cool. Let me zoom. Look, like I think it looks super cool with like all these lines. It kind of looks like flower petals. Okay, you guys, so the pin also says that I need some sort of sealant. I do not have one, but I do have my house, so I'll spray it then. But for now, I'm just going to let it dry. Um, I think it looks pretty cool, and I actually really like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Pinter test video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel or if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any requests or comments, make sure you leave them down below. I love reading y'all's comments. Life is too short to be negative, so make sure you're keeping it positive. I love you all so, so much. Bye!